Hey yo, what is up tricksters? So, it is day 5 of the salt shrimp adventure. Adventure. Hey yo, what is up tricksters? So, it is day 5 of the salt shrimp experiment. It is February 8th, and I am so hyped to see how the results came out. So, let's just take a look at it really quick. I've been working on it for about 5 days now. Let me just give you guys a recap of what happened. So I took shrimp straight out the freezer and I placed it into the salt to see if it will dry it out and toughen it up similar to native salt clam. So let's see how this goes. I'm just going to place my camera down. Alright guys, so I put down a paper towel. Reason being is I don't want to get my tray dirty. And if there's any moisture left in here, it will be absorbed by the paper towel. So I'm going to just start by just squishing this up. Just get all that pa tightly packed salt loosened up. Oh, I see one. Ooh. All right, y'all. It's time to learn how to count. Damn. Okay, so. Here's what it looks like, and it is extremely tough. Like, I could literally wiggle it around. Oh, my God. That is working so well. So let me get the other ones out. Okay, there's the other one. It seems like the ones at the top, they do feel relatively soft still. And it's not like the weather has caused them to turn orange or anything like that whatsoever. They're still very, very, very white. And really, really tough. So let's see how the ones at the bottom turned out. Now I gotta dig through this. Find the bottom ones, you know. Uh, okay, this is one that was in the middle. Again, really, really tough. Just feeling through. Okay, feel another one. They did get a little bit smaller, I realized that. Um, like this, this one right here it looks... Like this one right here looks relatively small. Um, it's still... That's why I made eight... So, I have sufficient bait. Um, let me just feel through here. There's a lot of salt in this, guys. <laughs> I don't think this much salt was necessary, but I just didn't want to take the chance of not being able to. Alright, so this one was at the bottom, and it does seem like it's kind of flattened. But it is ex still extremely tough. So, overall, this is working pretty well. I think I have five. I have three more left in here. So I gotta dig through here and find them. Oh, I feel them. Oh, uh oh, I don't wanna get any salt on the bottom of my table. So, let me just put this over here. Oh, I feel them. Okay. Alright, this looks kind of weird. Okay, I got the sixth one out. This one's at the bottom. Again. This one's kind of big, actually. It is flattened, but it is extremely big. I'm noticing that. Here's the sixth one. Seven. It was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. All right, guys, I can't find the eighth one, so I'm just going to start chunking out pieces of salt. Wait a minute. Yeah. Alright, so it turns out I just did that for nothing because I think I have eight here already. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Wow. So I just chunked out all this 
salt for nothing. That's what, we're going to leave some of the salt on top. Alright, so we got our plastic bag and now we're just going to take this and we're going to gather everything in the middle of our little paper towel and now we're just going to open this up and we're going to try to dump everything in. This may not be the best way to do it, but let's see how it goes. Hopefully I don't mess this up. Here we go. Okay, I feel the salt. Okay, there's the salt. Alright, come on little guys. Okay, there you go. Wow, that worked pretty well. Barely got any salt outside of the bag. And it seems like everything's going in. There you go. There's my finished product right there, guys. Fresh, salt-cured, dried shrimp. Perfectly made and perfectly ready to use for bait. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. There should be one coming up soon. It's a surprise. Until then, I'll see you guys in the next shot.